what's going on everyone um so today we're going to be looking at a kind of a simple game engine um gdevelop5 it's uh, completely free to use um so obviously you're either you know planning on looking at it uh it's pretty good if you're starting in game development and uh things like that so um today i'm going to show you how to do a top down shooter um i'll probably make one on a platformer and one on an isometric game but um i'm going to start by showing you how to make a uh top down shooter um it's going to be simple you know squares and stuff nothing special um you can do stuff like that you know when you're done but uh so you want to go to create um there is um you know kind of prefab games um but you don't you don't you don't want to even you know see these these are you're just basic stuff um so empty and add a new scene and then open the scene so um this is the scene and this is the view box but i'll show you how to make a camera that follows um the player so we can go out of this view box so i'll show you how to do that in a minute but so you're only going to add an object and then a sprite um you know a sprite is like going to be the player in this case so you want to name it player believe me i actually name it because this will be really helpful later on so you want to go to edit and i'm just going to make the color i don't know green so just whatever color you want to make it it doesn't matter then um, once you've made that um, you can drag them into the middle um, you can keep them the same size um, right now so you want to edit behaviors um, add behavior to the object and then these are um, behaviors that were pre pre-made behaviors they're um they make things a lot easier um you could do your own and i can make a video on coding your own um but for now we're going to use top down movement four or eight directions um so we just want to keep all this the same basically um so this is um whether or not you know it will like rotate um we do want that though because if not it, it would be a little funky feeling so now what we have is this where we hit play I don't know why it's there and now we um, we can move along this um, box that we have um, but there's so much more here so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a sprite actually name it um, we're gonna call this bullets man we're gonna add an animation we're gonna edit with a pistol and then we're gonna make this um, whatever call you want to make it uh, don't make it the same color as the um, player so oh, didn't do that right whoops um, boom 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 okay so Gonna hit apply. Um, don't add a behavior to this because we're gonna add a behavior to that in a little in a minute. So we want to add another one. So probably name it enemy, um, and then add an animation. And I'm gonna make him red because red means stop. Um, and then we're gonna hit apply. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to drag enemy out there. We're going to put our guy right here. So now we're going to enter in a scene. A scene is um, like code, but it's a lot um, easier to understand in this engine because it, it uses um, visual scripting. So we're going to go to add a new empty event. And we're going to add a condition. 
key pressed and so what this means is whenever this whatever key we choose um, but I'm gonna do space space key so um, basically what this means is, is whenever space key is pressed it'll trigger this action so the action is gonna be to create uh, wait, hold on. We're going to click on bullet. And then we're going to put create an object. And then for X position, we're going to put player dot X. Oh, player dot X. And then for here, we're going to put player dot Y. And then that one right there and then put OK. So what you'll see now is whenever we hold down space it creates a line. Um, so we're gonna make this where it shoots forward in a second but I just kinda wanna show you what this would do. Kinda reminds me of those uh, mobile games that you'd always see. And when you hold it off it does it and then when you hold it. So let's go ahead and add another action and we're gonna add a click on bullet and force angle uh... yeah force angle so we're gonna make it player dot direction and speed we're gonna make the speed a thousand pixels per second and we're gonna make it permanent so what happens every time we do that and we're gonna click OK. So now you'll see that it does that. You'll see, oh, cool, shoots out. You know, shoots out one. You know, you can hold it down and it shoots more. So there you go. So those, those are like the kind of the bullet thing we got going on here. There is a way to make it where it shoots out one at a time. Um, but I think I think it, uh, I like it a lot better when you just click it and it you know rapid fires. So now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make the enemy disappear whenever you shoot them. So how we're gonna do is that we're gonna go in here and we're gonna put add a condition and then we're gonna put player or wait no no bullet and then collision. On the then the enemy. So whenever the bullet hits the enemy, I'm gonna click on that. So then whenever the bullet hits the enemy, it's gonna do this action, which the action is gonna be enemy and delete. Um, it will only delete them for whenever we're playing the scene, so it won't delete them forever. Don't worry, guys. So now whenever it hits him, boom, he deletes. Um, so now what we can do is we can go into the scene. So you can add a couple of these dudes. We can boom. Boom. Oh, oh, I keep on missing them there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a camera that um, follows him so we can actually move outside this box. So we're gonna go to add a new event and then add action and then camera camera centered on an object and then player uh, yes and then we can just click OK and then now it should look like this like that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it where um, every time you run into um, one of the red guys, the enemies then you actually disappear so what we're gonna do is go into a new scene Add a new event. Player. Oh, wait. Hold on. Player. And then collision. Um, you should you should see what's like kind of going on here already because <laughs> we kind of already did this with the um, you know the bullets. Um, so now whenever the player collides with the enemy, player and delete. And okay, so. Now we're gonna make it. Now every time the player runs into him, he dies. 
so um <clears throat> so that's like the basics of it but let's say you know you're trying to make a zombie game you want the you want these little red squares to move toward the player so you want to add an event and you want to add an action you want to add um enemy add a force angle oh wait 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 for oh toward an object okay player and then you want to add like 20 20 speed and then permanent so now we're gonna hit play oh wow that actually is much faster than I thought it was okay let's make this like two <laughs> the speeds make me up sometimes okay so now they're moving toward him oh no and then I clap their cheeks so basically that's how that works um, you would probably want to put it as like one like very slow slow speed and you wouldn't have to code where um, where like they have to get in a certain space for that to happen but we're actually going to delete that so what we're going to do now is we're going to make it where whenever you die it actually plays um, a little picture or whatever that says like a blank screen that says you died on it so we're gonna go to start page oh wait no, no, no not start page we're gonna go here to the project menu we're gonna add a scene scene 2 so on scene 2 we're gonna hit add oh wait we're gonna go here and we're gonna drag this all the way down to black um, or whatever color you wanna make it we're gonna go to text I'm gonna make the text color white so you can see it and we don't need to name this because it's not going to be the only thing. So it'll say, you died. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> you died. There. And now, uh, wait. Now you can drag that in there. And it says you died. So one thing we can do here is we can make it where whenever you press R, you, res you re restart. So... I'm gonna make the text say press R to restart and we can do that all right so now we can go into scene um, scene 2 of actions we can put key pressed that way no 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 key pressed R alright now whenever the R key is pressed um scene change the scene to scene 1 <laughs> so what we're gonna go in here is player collision with the enemy and then change the scene to scene 2 so here we go we're gonna play it oh no and then whoops I accidentally run into him it says you died press R to restart you press R and it sends you back here pretty cool so that is basically the basics of you know game development and um, an engine like this so, um, yeah, um, if you like this, if it helped at all, then uh, you could like. If you didn't like it, then don't. Um, I'm gonna play, make a platforming one. Um, and if you need, if you have any uh, like problems on your own that you don't know how to fix, then just leave a comment, and you know, this probably won't get any views, so I can probably respond. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah.